Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passy. Just getting us an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Is another episode of Anime. Anime, I like that you make. And today we're going to be checking out a show called Overlord. Yes, I know it came out last season. I know it's the sequel season. I know I should have probably done it back then whenever it originally came out. But I just didn't get around to doing all the episodes I wanted to do at the time. So, just like the rules always apply, I have the opening intro just to explain what this show is about to you. To see whether or not you enjoy it, whether or not you want to see it. But, let's see what we got ahead of ourselves here in Overlord Season 2, where I'm kind of just going to explain the premise of Season 1 if you haven't seen it already, which is, I'm assuming, majority of people haven't, but you never know, you never know. Most of you might actually just get bored by this, so wait until the second half of the open intro before I get into the second season stuff, because it's weird and also entertaining. Let's rock and roll. Three, two, one. Overlord is a TV show, it's essentially another Isekai experience where a guy has gone from being in the real world to actually being inside a fantasy world, but in this particular case, he has literally turned into his character from the uh, MMORPG that he was playing, where he was playing as a Lich Lord death creature, and his mind essentially is inside his body while existing in this side of this world, pretty much caused by the fact that he was playing the game when the server shut down and he just happened to be here now. This is where the world continued on after his end of existence. His friends have already left the game, but he's been left with all of his soldiers, or all of their soldiers, actually under his command. And he is the true overlord, essentially a dark god that has actually descended on this planet. The villain, for all intents and purposes. In the first season, he made a lot of attempts to actually try and understand the world, try to understand the people in it, and try not to be a destructive force. Uh, but as eventualities occur and things change and happen, we're on to Overlord Season 2 now, where the game has changed. We are introduced to so many more opposing forces that, really, we don't know what, who's the right side, who's the bad side, who's actually going to actually make the right choices as we make our way to the end. A lot of characters have actually been introduced in the beginning of Season 2 of Overlord that uh, literally, you don't even meet the families or the characters from the original season that much you just see them almost as periphery to the rest so really if you want to check this out i highly highly recommend you go back and watch overlord season one because otherwise you'll be lost Woo! <laughs> um yeah pretty much that was that was actually a nice that was enjoyable that felt good that felt good for me that felt good for me i'm, I'm, I'm okay with that i'm okay with that overlord uh season two is available on crunchyroll if you want to check it out it's uh, a good show uh I, 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 can't, I, I, think, I think I nailed it there, so I don't really have anything else to really say. If I missed out anything or I over-explained someone that you guys might have actually not wanted to know about yet, then make sure to feel free to hit me up on the comments or in private message or anything else that actually tells me that I missed out a point or I over-elaborated and ruined the show for you or for a bunch of other people. But this is Overlord, and yeah, I could not have actually explained what had happened in Season 1 at all. With like there's like, there plenty happens in it that it literally I just couldn't have actually spoiled that for you at all. Go check it out. All I've done is explain you the premise of how it actually came out. So um yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you happen to enjoy this episode of Anime Like, then if you happen to be on YouTube, you can watch the whole lot. They're all available right above me. There will be a playlist right over there that'll actually have all the things that you can actually check out. Um over here to the side, there will actually be a well, if you're up there, as far as I'm concerned will actually be a playlist or the most recent video on the channel over here will actually be a video just for you based on the youtube analytics of the things you do on youtube it will find a video of that i have created that you will enjoy and place it right here so make sure you're logged into your account and it'll fix on decent out of that and if you happen to be watching this on anything other than youtube then make sure to check out up on the side where there would normally be a subscribe button there'll be a surrogate for that mattering on whatever service you happen to be checking this out on if you do then make sure to like comment subscribe and do all the things and spread the love that is anime like because i want to actually introduce so many people to so many of these shows that most of the time you don't really know what's worth watching. This one, I highly recommend. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.